Hello Internet, I'm Matt Haas, this is All Things YouTube, and on this video I'm going to show you how to use this. It's a product called Stream Deck from a company called Elgato, and it works with streaming software. I use the software OBS, it stands for Open Broadcaster Software, and I've mapped some of the graphics on my screen to this device, and it helps me quickly activate those items. Without this, I have to take my eye off the camera, look down at my software, find the item I want, click the eyeball button to show it, and then I can talk and then go back down, click it again. So it takes a little bit away from the experience you're giving to your end user. Not a lot, it's optional. You can live without it. It's sort of like a luxury item. And of course, these are little TV screens because they change states. See, the red is on and the blue is off. But I also use this to change scenes. These two are special. This will go to my demonstration screen, which I have myself down here in the corner. And this is my desktop. So I've installed the software. It's just a quick install, anyone can do it and then I get this little item up here. Here is the interface to control your hardware and you can see it's got the same six buttons. Now these come with many more buttons. This was the one with the fewest amount of buttons. I like it so much I'm gonna upgrade to the larger one. But this is the absolute beginner guide to configuring this for your streaming and videos. Um, you work by mapping actions to these buttons. And it has a whole bunch of different flavors of actions. I only use this one, the bundle of OBS Studio, because again, that's the software I use. And I'm only using two different items, scene and source. This one is a scene. So I have um, scene demo mapped to it. And if I show you my OBS software, that's gonna get a little little funky over here but um, so here is my demo and my talking head demo talking head I know you're kind of flipping and that also works by the button press the button press the button um, so that's how you would pick it and OBS just has to be on. If you turn off OBS, then this thing just goes question marks. There's no, it was, it was actually kind of cool. You just launch OBS and it's the Stream Deck software says, oh, I see it, and <laughs> just pulls all the information in. I was really concerned about that would be tricky, not tricky at all. Here's a more typical one. This is a uh, source. So in OBS, sources are here. Um, so these are the things I can put up on the screen when I'm uh, like, I can have this little thing come up if I want by these these sources. Most of my sources are on talking head mode. Um, but um, that's that. So let's look at some of the sources I have here. So I have this map to the Matt Haas graphic this is just an image but i could map it to something else let's map it to this one for example all right so now let me flip back over to talking head because that that is in that area and now when i click lower third instead of my name coming up it's going to do my new one which is the what's going on with matt haas i call this up on my show and i tell my audience what's going on with me um, and that's really all there is to it as far as mapping stuff goes. So here, I'm gonna put this back to the where I want it. Um, some of them are folders. So folders is sort of a different type of object. See how this is a folder? Folders you can fall into. Let me show you that. So I'll go back to this one. And these two are folders. So when I go into this folder, it just resets itself. Now I'm one level deeper. I can go back up here. And then these graphics, I talk about some of these other shows. And there's my what's going on. 
This is another show I do, 7 p.m. on Thursdays on the Brenda G's Designs channel. We talk about Mind Equals Blown. We ask the audience for interesting facts, and we have a good old time. It's just a bunch of shenanigans. So that's um, the folder level stuff. And then here on the Elgato or, um, Stream Deck interface, you, you could just double click into that, and then you can have your, um, you can see what's in that folder. I'm gonna go into this folder. Now, each button has an on and off state, and you can control what that is. So let's see what the options are to map these buttons. You can go set from file when you have a file on your desktop, but I don't have one yet, so let's create one. So you go to create new icon, over here and no not there go here sorry about that let me move this out of the way getting kind of crazy so on this website they just give you a whole bunch of different items here and you can select what you want and use the interface to kind of configure it change the options get this the way you want and then you click this save key button and it just dumps it down to your computer as a file. Pretty simple interface. Um, then you can come back to here. Let's find the one we want. Let's replace this one. And then you can say set from file. And I'll just go to my downloads folder. That's the one I downloaded and pull it in. And now that's in the, um, that's in one of the states. I think that's the on state. So if I show you what this is, let me go back to here. So there's my purple that I just downloaded. And then see it's, I didn't do the other state. I, I can change that one if I want. So let's go back over to this mode and here's the radio button and now I can change this to something something else let's go back maybe I want this to be um, I saw these were two different colors there's a different color like maybe that could be the other one download that one come in here so I already did that one I'll come over here and I'll do set from file and I'll pull in the darker one and now let's go for talking head and we'll take a look at this so now it goes bright purple, dark purple. Well, I actually flipped it. <laughs> I like the on state to be brighter. So I did it opposite, oopsie. But um, that was just a, uh, a little demo there. That's really it, folks. Um, you know, you, you, um, to, to map this stuff, let me take that one away. To map it, you just pull pull a source and go over like that. And then you can pick what you want. And you do your... Like that. And then that shows up there. And this was... Let me go to Talking Head. And EAP URL is this, um, how to join my um, newsletter on my Awesome With Things channel. That's it. Stream Deck from Elgato. I have a affiliate link in the description if you want to buy one yourself through um, Amazon and give me a little bit of uh, uh a few pennies for that transaction. I would appreciate that same price to you. I hope you found this helpful. Drop a big old like, share this around. And remember, I stream 7 p.m. on Mondays right here on All Things YouTube. I tell you how to be awesome on YouTube and show you what the developers changed on the system and why that's important to you. A lot of these news announcements from the developers of YouTube, they just tell you what's changed. I show you. It's really cool. And we have a lot of fun. Thanks, Internet. I hope you found this helpful. Take care.